Hello everybody and welcome to the vlog. We hope you are doing well today. And uh, Carol and Rosette went over to a um, scrapbooking, scrapbooking open, house. open house. And also Carol picked up all the presents that I'm buying her. <laughs> Cause uh, she had a list and she was there. So she just bought all the stuff that she wanted and threw it on my visa. So Carol knows what she's getting for Christmas this year. Well, hopefully I get a little bit something else. I don't think so. That was like $8,000 worth of stuff. Are you sure it was eight? It could have been Not nine. nine? <laughs> There's hidden costs. Anyway, so when she got home, uh, she wanted to go up to, uh, we, had to we had to pick up a light for the snake because uh, the nocturnal red light burnt out. And we also need to do something else. Cat litter. Cat litter. And I'm thinking, well, like I wanted to use the car, Carol wanted to use the car, so we're teaming up, saving gas and time. So we're gonna stop at uh, an apple orchard because this is one of the, the videos I really wanted to make and, and try to incorporate the drone, although it's very windy right now and crappy out. Uh, I wanted to incorporate the drone the and both gimbals. Do a little bit of drone work, a little bit of uh, Canon 70D work with the larger gimbal and then the small gimbal with my iPhone. So when we get there, we'll put, we'll shoot all this stuff and then we'll put it together and hope you guys like it. Well, this went inside. Carol bought some uh, garlic and more apples, of course, and uh, asked the lady and uh, her dad actually owns the barn, the whole property. And apparently they've had issues in the past uh, of people saying, oh, can we time come take some pictures? And then, and then the dad said yes. And uh, like trucks came <laughs> and, and they did like professional shoots and kind of took over the whole area and it was a detriment to them. It didn't actually help them. So, and then they gave another person a chance and same thing. All of a sudden, all these princesses, a lady, a lady asked if she can come take pictures. And I guess she had a whole bunch of little girls that she wanted to take pictures of them with she said something about princess dresses so they again took over so uh apparently i might not be able to ever videotape it but it's gorgeous nice house there that would be amazing to videotape around beautiful orchard videotape uh, then chances are there's possibly like a you know a couple trees with like apples that they never got around to picking or something and, and videotape that and the inside i took one picture here's the picture uh, of these glass bottles and, and I'm not sure if she realizes how cool that looks and needs to be captured in a video and it would just be so cool and it's just called the Carpe Diem Orchard and uh, so I have to send them a link she says probably it won't happen but I have to send you a link uh, of a sample video like of Carol's Cottage or whatever one of those kind of fun ones to do I don't know I'm just moving just in case somebody needs to get out. So uh, we'll have to either shoot something else and uh, see if anybody else is out there that wouldn't mind me videotaping their property. Stop by Michael's. What are you getting here? Scrapbooking stuff. Not sure if you've ever been to a Michael's store, but they have everything. Arts and crafts, picture frames, and everything you can possibly imagine. Now we're at the Wrangler, the, what is it called? The Reptile Wrangler. Buy some more rats and a light. It's that one. Got uh, two heat lamps, so I don't have to come back because it only seemed to last about a month and a half to two months and uh, five rats. You can save money if you buy in bulk. So, uh, and they never told me that before, 
if you buy five rats, it's only $25. So I've always been going in there. Yeah, can I have like two rats? He should have said, you know what? If you buy five, you can save money. All right, where we go next? Kitty litter. Kid litter. Yeehaw! Use the force, Luke. Let go. We're just about to get back on the highway to go back to our house when Paul called and he said we're doing some type of a lobster burger thingy and uh, he's like oh I'm gonna pick up lobster at Costco we're like dude Costco lineup is gonna be crazy on a Saturday afternoon so I said we're right by this fresh seafood place where is he it's right back did there. I miss it oh goodness gracious I was looking for oil Either he's changed the sign as I thought it used to be blue. Anyway, so Paul's calling back no, again. So not. anyway, Johnny's fish market is right there. And he's got not fresh lobster tails, but frozen. But that's alright. Let's go in. Buy some lobster. Carol's like Carl called and then so I was yapping with him. And because I was yapping with him, I didn't videotape anything inside. But uh, here's a picture of the scallops they had, and those look amazing. They're huge. Uh, I would say, I, I can't, I'm trying to, like, about the size of three marshmallows put together. Do you have the keys? Who's got the keys? Anyway, so I bought some bonus shrimp. So I've got the two ounce uh, lobster tails. They didn't, they didn't seem to have, this either two ounce lobster tails. I have to show. So it's either these two ounce lobster tails. I wish they had like four ounce. Cause they, and cause this was like, let me know in the comments below, 17 bucks for rock lobster tails. And uh, that's got, they're very tiny. Look at the size of my thumb. So they had that and then I bought some Cajun shrimp as a little bit of an appetizer treat for, uh, for us. I'm gonna leave three for Ben so you can, have, so you can try it. All right, time to go home. Mm -hmm.